Hello everyone, welcome to the Lawn Reality Show. This is the exercise show that I told you guys that I'd, I'd do. And yeah, I know I look fat in the shirt, but no I'm not. But first, the first thing we're going to start doing is start stretching out. So we're going to stretch out because if you don't stretch your muscles, it's going to wind up hurting. You'll regret it in the long run, so we're not going to not going to do a whole lot of leg muscles, but we've been concentrating on you know, most of the day is the arms because that's everybody keeps asking about my arms. So, what I did to get them this way. So, we're going to be concentrating on that and we're going to be doing my backyard today. So, first thing we want to do is you're going to hold your hands like this so they're in a diamond, in a diamond shape. We're gonna take come back here. And we're gonna do ten push-ups. Now there's ten push-ups right there. Now I'm gonna show you another thing that you can do that is, is really it, it's gonna hurt so especially when you're not used to it so you want to take some weight I got 20 pound weights right here I'll take some weight both ends and you can get down on the ground and do push ups that way the way you're gonna do it is you're gonna push down when you push up you're gonna go bring it back up with you and switch them off just like that. So we're gonna go like this. So you read down like this, and the closer you put your feet together, the harder it is. Okay, I haven't done it so long, you can't do it. Okay, now that right there is going to work your stomach muscles and your arms and your shoulders and your chest because you're working all those muscles at one time and it's also going to work your back muscles but as you can tell I'm sniffling a little bit because we've got a cold breeze here and I got a few allergies <laughs> but now do these, this is why it stress that you, you stretch your muscles because if you don't, you're gonna be hurting. But now for just for just weight, what we're gonna do is just do some regular ones like this. We'll hold them out like this, so that way you wanna you wanna keep try to keep your arm away from your body because you put it next to your body you're actually using your body to lift the weights and not really your arm so if you put it away from your body you're using all your arm we'll do 10 of them six seven eight nine Ten. And the slower you do it, the harder harder it is. Because if you try to do them fast, then all you're doing is bobbing back and forth like this, and you're not really getting the weight up there, and you're not using your arm like you're supposed to. So you want to do it, try to do it just as slow as you can, or slower. Find your own speed at it, but do it slow. Don't do it fast. If you do it fast, it's not going to do you any good. And we'll do this one. Six, seven, eight, 
10. All right. And another one that I do is taking the weights and putting them right in front of you and going up and down like this. You can try it with just one first. Try it with just one. You're going to get all you need for the first time. You want to hold them right out straight. Hold your arms right out straight. And keep your body straight too. You, want to, you don't want to spread your legs apart because your stepping muscles are going to start hurting a little bit. And your chest muscles, it's really going to work your chest muscles a lot. So we'll do, we'll do 10 of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, you want to take a little breather. Because you work all these muscles, you start out working all these muscles off one time with, with no interruption, which is normally what I do. Then you're gonna you gotta you have to let air get to you to your muscles. You want the oxygen to get to your muscles so that way it helps them to heal better and and you're not hurting as much. But if you if you try to rip them out one at a time or one right after the other one, you're going to wind up ripping a muscle or tearing a muscle or, or pulling a muscle. And that's the last thing that you want to do. But and I'm going to show you an exercise that you do not want to do. So I did this exercise before and I, I regretted it. But it's like, like this right here. You don't want to do that exercise right there. I did that. I did that before, and my I don't know something happened with my arm, but I had to wind up holding it up and all that. Otherwise, have it down and wind up going numb on me and hurt. And so I'd have to hold it up like this all the time. And, you know, it was it was pretty irritating after a while. But. Another, another one that we're going to do is this one right here. Now see, as, as we go, you, see, I'm, I'm saying take a breather. and I'm not even taking the breath that I should take. But it, but it is important to, to let your body relax a little bit while you're doing it until you get used to doing it. Because once you get used to doing it, then your body can handle it. And you'll be able to do one right after another after another. And me, I like getting a good workout in. So I just go and go and go. And until I completely warm myself out. But this right here, it, it's, called a, uh, it's called a shock wave. And what you do with this, there's several ways that you can use this thing. See what it does, it pops up and down like this. So I'm sure you've probably seen them on TV before. So what this does is it helps the back muscles. It takes it really, especially for females, it takes the flab off the back muscles. Where, where women get uh, flab or, or fat back on, their, on the back of their arms more, it, that helps take that down. And also helps tighten up the chest muscles up here and the stomach muscles. You'll find that it helps the whole back of the whole front of the body and the shoulders. It really helps every part of the body and helps to lean it down so you get that that fat and flab off there that you don't want on there. So I'm not gonna do this for very long because normally I do it for five minutes, but I'm just gonna do it for a couple right now and you just I'll show you a couple different ones. You want to go like this, and you, you do not want to hold your hand right up against that. You want to hold on the grip. So if you hold your hand up against that, you're going to start hurting this knuckle right here. So you hold it down on the grip, you don't hurt that knuckle.
Okay, we'll do that right there. The, normally you want to do it for like, like five minutes worth of up here because it's not that hard of an exercise. It gets hard on the arms because you're tightening up the arms. But here's another way that you can do it right here. I know that looks funny, but what it does is it tightens up your two ab muscles right up here. And actually probably, it actually probably does a, the second layer of, of your ab muscles too. But, <clears throat> but then another thing that you can do with it is go like that. Then you're, then you're tightening up all of your ab muscles here and even along here. And you turn on the other side. And you're doing the same thing, tightening up your ab muscles here and over here. But those there are harder to do. You'll find it awkward doing them. But that's what those there are good for. And another one is holding it up here like this. Glory. Going right in the back. Like that. What that does is it tightens up all your back muscles right up here. So, which is both, both, it's good for both men and women. Because that, it helps your shoulders to get, get stronger and keeps the, the fat and flab away from them. So, whew. All right, we're gonna, another one, another one that I do, uh, well, I don't know if I wanna do that one this time or not, but you're gonna find this video is gonna be uncut. And because I figure you guys would rather see me in reality doing it than any, any other way. But what we're going to do is we're going to do a series of push-ups, which, which is only, well, how can I do that? All right, we're going to go like this. We're going to do the diamond-shaped one. See, because I've, I kind of got my routine out of order a little bit than what I normally do. So we're going to go like this, make your diamond shape. And do do these 10, 10 push-ups or whatever you can you can do at the time. But two, three, four. And we're gonna do push-ups with the weight. Okay, then we're gonna do these. And take, you know, just like this. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're gonna work our, our biceps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two,
you don't want to do it. just starting out you don't want to do any more than that and then take your breather <laughs> but that's what we're going to do this week for the show and next week we'll concentrate on some other things and, uh, but at least now people will be up to start exercising and start getting their their, fl their fat, winter fat gone and their summer skin in so thank you everybody and we'll see you next time on Lone Reality <laughs>